Mayor Cox, thank you very much for that warm introduction. As former teachers and school administrators, the mayor and I share a common commitment to ensuring the health and well-being of children in our past and in our current roles. Mayor, we are so pleased to bring CPSC's Pool Safely campaign to Chula Vista. Your city has been a great supporter of the campaign and has demonstrated its commitment to the safety of children in this community. I'm also delighted to join up with Janet Evans once again. Janet is an Olympic champion and a world-class mother. One year ago, Janet and I joined forces at the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to officially launch the Pool Safely campaign. So thank you, Janet, for lending your voice once again to our effort to keep kids safe in and around the water. Yosina, we are greatly appreciative that you've joined us today. Uh, we are so thankful for the work that you're doing for safe kids and to, to turn a near tragedy into advocacy. We look forward to hearing your story this morning. And Dr. Burbick Garcia and Manuel, on, half, on behalf of the CPSC, I want to thank you for being a part of the Pool Safely campaign. During the past year, our campaign has reached millions of families with our Simple Steps Save Lives message. From billboards posted in Miami to free swim clinics conducted here in Chula Vista to educational games played by kids in Houston, the Pool Safely movement has swept the country. Pool Safely is a call to action. On television, radio, and Twitter, in Head Start programs at community events, Pool Safely is being talked about and it is taking hold. In fact, Pool Safely messages have been viewed by nearly a half a billion times this past year. Yes, let me say it again, a half a billion times. Now we are all here today, just two days before the start of the summer pool season, for a simple but a powerful reason, to save the lives of children in Chula Vista, in California, and across the United States. We know that drowning is a leading but preventable cause of death and injury among children younger than five. We know that drain entrapment is a hidden, horrific, and preventable hazard. The statistics that the CPSC is announcing this morning support our call to action. We need to continue to urge parents and caregivers to be vigilant about supervision and creating layers of protection because there are still too many children who drown or nearly drown each year. Since the start of this year, the Pool Safely campaign has tracked 118 media reports of drownings or near drownings in 29 states. 118 just from the very beginning of this year. Now that's a very troubling figure. We are talking about 55 drownings and 63 near drownings in just the first five months of the year. And now we are entering to what, into what Safe Kids USA calls trauma season for children. It is so vital that we work together to keep children safe during the summer months. The CPSC statistics show that in each year, uh, 383 children younger than 15 drown in pools and spas. Three quarters of those fatalities involve children younger than five. Four out of five of these children are younger than five. We are talking about hundreds of families struck by tragedy each year when their toddler or their young child drowns. We need to increase supervision and increase layers of protection so that we can decrease the number of children taken too soon from their families. The CPSC data also estimates that there are more than 5,000 emergency room visits each year due to submersion injuries involving children younger than 15. Nearly 80% of those injuries involve children younger than five. Drowning is not like the movies or television. It is a silent killer. It happens quickly and quietly and it can strike at any time. We have come to the Parkway Family Aquatic Center, an outstanding aquatic center, to respond to these tragic statistics. Our Pool Safely public education campaign is all about using and sharing the simple steps that can save lives. Some of those life-saving steps include knowing CPR, always watching and being within reach of a child in and around the water, teaching children how to swim as these children are learning how to today, 
installing a four-foot fence around the pool, having a working pool alarm so that when your child opens the door, you hear that door alarm, and securing the doors that lead to the pool. These are simple steps that apply to water parks, hotels, motels, outdoor community pools, as well as backyard pools. This campaign is especially important for the African American and the Hispanic communities. As USA Swimming and CDC have determined, there is a disproportionate risk of drowning for African Americans and Hispanic children. According to USA Swimming, in diverse communities, in youth, the youth drowning rate is two or three times higher than the national average. Two or three times higher. Nearly six out of 10 African American and Hispanic children are unable to swim, which is nearly twice as many as their Caucasian counterparts. The CPSC's Pool Safely and Minority Outreach campaigns are working to make a difference and reduce pool drownings in these communities. There are so many great individuals and organizations who are working on drowning prevention in these diverse communities all across the country, and many of them are right here today. This education campaign is the biggest in the CPSC's history, and I want to thank all of you for being committed to this effort, which we need to sustain.